We got the Arduino IDE running in the first computer tools video. Now let's run with it and, uh, and see where it can take us. So let's go try some of our other code. We've got this serial output. I'm going to make that window big enough that we can actually see it as well. It's not doing anything very exciting either. It's setting up and then it's printing out a bunch of values, the time and values in milliseconds then put through a sine or a cosine so that we should get numbers that come out that are just printing out trigonometric functions. So let's try this one. You see we didn't have to close the serial monitor we just had to recompile and upload different code and now we're seeing different things coming out. There's the time in seconds. These are values that are going up and down between 1 and negative 1 and they're not quite in phase. So I think that's doing what we told it to do here. And it's got a delay built in of 20 milliseconds. So it's not going as fast as it absolutely could. We can still see what's going on here. Now suppose I wanted to get some of that data and put it into Excel. Well, at the point when I really wanted to get the data, I'm finished now. I'm going to push that little auto scroll box. The data is still filling up over here, but I've stopped my view of it right here. And I can take a whole collection of that just and then copy it and I'll paste it into Excel. So Control C or Command C. And then I'll go to my Excel spreadsheet, pick the top corner there, Command V or Control V. Once again, tiny type. If you can't read that on your video, I can't read that on your screen either. So let's go make it bigger. There, that's nice and readable. It goes on a long way down below the screen, but that's okay. Now it's taken those values and it's put them all into column A. If we look, you see it's all in column A. It hasn't been separated out into separate columns. But if I select column A and choose data, text to columns. I've got delimited data. It's delimited with commas. And I'm going to make sure that it notices the commas. And you see now it's ready to put lines in between them and split it that way. So now I'll say that I'm finished. Now I've got my data in three separate columns. I can take all three of those columns and I can tell it that I would like to insert a chart Let's get a scatter plot with smooth lines. And there's a plot of my data. Try this on your own screen and see how easy it is.